Hey folks, uh, this lesson is Divide by 3. I hope you guys are doing well. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathLog.com. So, uh, so what strategies can we use when dividing by 3? So some you've seen before. So here we have Mrs. Bank, uh, Banker's third grade class and she has 18 students. Her seating chart is in groups of 3. 3 per student or 3 students in each uh, seating chart group. So how many groups will this make? Okay, so what do we need to find? Well, here, right here, we need to find out how many groups of three this is going to make right here. So uh, out of the 18, so let's underline the, the numbers we're going to use. We're going to use that 18 and that, that three right there. Okay, so one way is to make equal groups. So um, uh, we'll go ahead and set up uh, 18 counters. We'll use 18 counters and we'll circle as many groups of three as we can and then count uh, the number of groups. So there's 18 counters over there and then it says circle as many groups of three as we can. Well, I'll get started with a few of them here, you guys. In fact, I'll just do one of them right here. Here's a group of three and then I'll just continue circling um, th uh, three counters at a time and then we'll count the number of groups. So there's one group of three. So you can see I did that on the rest of them right there. So we circled as many groups of three as we can and we count the number of groups. So so here I have uh, one, two, three, four, uh, five, six right here. I guess I have the numbers a little backwards. That's okay. So how many groups of uh, three are there? There are six groups of three. So there will be six groups of students in Mrs. Banker's class. Okay. So we write it as this, you guys. 18 divided by 3 equals 6. Or in this way, we write it. This says also 18 divided by 3. And we put the 6 right above the 8 right there. Okay, so 18 divided by 3 equals 6. Both of those read 18 divided by 3 equals 6. All right, so here's a, a, a different uh, sort of question. Suppose the question is asking how many students of 18 would be in three equal groups. Okay, this is a little bit different. They're not groups of three. They're in three different groups. So how can we model three groups, uh, three equal groups, and would the quotient be the same? Okay, so... Here's how we can model this, you guys. We can take uh, the 18 counters right here for the 18 students, and we can place one counter at a time in each of the three circles until all the counters are used. So one counter at a time in each of the three circles. So if I put a counter there, a counter there, a counter there, there's one counter at a time in each of the three circles. So I just keep doing this until the rest of them fill up. So there's another counter there, this one can go over here, one counter at a time in each of the three circles, okay? So I continue doing this, you guys, one counter at a time in each of the three circles right there. Let me at least even this out right here, okay? So uh, now they all have three, so I'm going to put the rest of these counters in those circles, and it's going to look like this, you guys, so right there. So um, uh, then here we have 18 divided by 3 this time equals 6. So the quotient is the 6 this time. Okay, remember this is the, the dividend, this is the divisor, this is the quotient right here. So, um, so to answer the question, the quotient is not the same as in the previous problem because in the previous problem it was 18 divided by 6 equals 3. Here, 18 divided by 3 equals 6, okay? So just remember that 18 is the dividend, 3 is the divisor, and 6 is the quotient. So when they're asking those questions, you can know which numbers they're talking about, okay? Here's some other ways, you guys. One way is to uh, count back on a number line. So we can start at 18, and then just, just like in the last lesson, uh, we can count back by 3s to get 18 divided by 3, okay? So, and then count, uh, then count the number of times we jump back by 3. So here we go. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Finally, we get to 0, and there were 6 times. So we jump back by 3 6 times, so 18 divided by 3 equals 6, okay? Another way is to use a related multiplication fact. Since uh, division is the opposite of multiplication, think of the related multiplication fact of 18 divided by 3. So this is saying, you know, uh, 3 times what number? So what number times this 3 right here will equal this 18, okay? So what number completes that? So we can go ahead and use the multiplication chart right here and then go up here to 3, scroll down to 18, and then find what number it is when you scroll over to the left. So I wrote all that stuff down right there. So there we go. 
So uh, we find out that 6 times 3 equals 18. That means uh, 18 divided by 3 equals 6. Or here, this is also 18 divided by 3 equals 6. So both of these are division problems right there. Okay, so what if there were 24 students in Mrs. Baker's class and she wanted to put kids in groups of three? What related multiplication fact could we use to find the number? Okay, so we're looking for 24 divided by 3. So we could ask a related multiplication fact of what number times 3 equals 24. Okay, well, 8 times 3 equals 24. So 24 divided by 3 equals 8. And then uh, this also says uh, 24 divided by 3. Notice the 8 is placed up above the last uh, digit right there. All right, you guys, I hope that lesson made sense.